I'll be honest with y'all, man. It's not always about women. Not everything in life is about women. Not everything in life is about sex. It's not rocket science to know that any guy that goes up to 100 women in a day will sleep with way more women than any guy that waits for choosing signals. Guys, my life does not revolve around women. You see, the guy that waits on choosing signals, his life does not revolve around women. Have you seen any women in any of my videos? Well, except my reaction videos. I thought so. He lets everything come to him. He lets women come to him. He is someone who is self-made. He lives his own life, focusing on his own hobbies that he loves, doing his own thing, and he is also someone with a sense of purpose. He is a man that has a sense of purpose. He feeds off of that purpose that he believes in. He is always on his purpose, and he can never have enough of it. If he were to choose between being with women or being on his purpose, he wouldn't think twice about being on his purpose, because he knows about all the headaches and drama that women bring into the relationship. He wouldn't think twice. He knows that the time he is with women is time or precious time he can use to be on his purpose instead. Do you not see where I'm coming from? Purpose is everything. Purpose is everything to a man. A man must stick to his principles. That's the thing with choosing signals. This man's life is not dependent on female validation. It's not about attracting the most women. It never has been. And it never will be. You cannot convince me enough that someone who waits for choosing signals is not successful. Most successful men that I know and I talk to, they never bring up conversations involving women. They may throw it in a conversation every once in a while, but most of the time they talk about business, their goals, their passions, their hobbies, what their goals are for the future and for the present. Women, man, women, they're on the back burner. They're like, you have your dogs, you have your cats. You have your friends, you have your goldfish, you have your hobbies, everything you do, women come last. Who cares about them women? Focus on yourself. It's way more fulfilling. Guys, I've been a young guy before that chased women all day long. Trust me. I know exactly what it feels like. So don't think I don't know. You can't even do anything in your life because everything you do in your life is based around women. That's literally all you see. Man, f*** them women. I'm not even going to kid you guys. When I was 18, all up until my mid-20s, all I could see was women. All I could hear was women. All I could think about was women. Women this, women that. What can I do to please this woman so she can like me more? Come on, man. It was bad, so I get where you guys are coming from. It's a struggle, trust me, I know. Everyone today is just chasing ass. Men don't even have hobbies no more. Come on, man. Everything is about Hinge, Bumble, Tinder, going to clubs, playing video games, and being an emotional troll. Or hating on women. That's what I see the most nowadays. What is that? What is that called? The black pill stuff? I see nothing but videos about dudes hating on women. I'm like, bro, it's not even about that. If you could understand women, trust me, you will like them more and nothing that they do will bother you. Women are fun to be with, man. It's really not that hard. It's so unfortunate when I see all this hate against women. It's disappointing. I don't even see men playing at the park no more. They're not playing soccer. They're not playing football. They're not playing basketball. Men don't even shoot hoops no more. Believe it or not, guys, once upon a time, we men would get up together, meet up at the park, and start playing hoops in that cement ground, you know? That where you fall and you break something, your shit's broken. Trust me. You don't even see that no more when I go to the park. It's not like what it was the pre-smartphone days. Back then, me and the boys would just hope to wake up every day hoping we could play each other on the court and hope we can break each other's ankles. We were really eager to play each other, man. I'm telling you, it was really fun playing with our boys back then on the court. And you know, I'm not even talking about your local school gym court. I'm talking about the cement court where it's just like all cement. Because at your schools, you had that, that soft surface where if you fall, you don't tear anything up and you don't really break anything. On a cement cord, you fall down, you break something. You tear something up, you'd be bloody. Men don't even go shoot hoops no more, man. Men don't even enjoy their hobbies no more. Or they don't even have one. What's your hobby? Chasing ass. Yeah, you're chasing booty all day. That's your hobby. Chasing ass. And then you wonder why you struggle with women. Because your whole life is dependent on female validation. You guys have no hobbies anymore. Get some hobbies or get a hobby and stop chasing ass. You know what's funny? 
when you stop chasing ass, when you focus on your purpose and your passions, the women will start coming to you. They, they'll start feeling off that energy that you have. That's that good, positive energy. And they'll be like, man, this guy's got something going in his life. I want to be a part of it. That's how that works. And getting with women and dating them will be so much easier. That's how it works. You know what? I have a proposition for all you guys. I want you to at least spend a year to yourself and just focus on yourself. Don't focus on anything else. Stop dating. Forget dating women. Focus on yourself and build yourself up. Tell yourself, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about women this year. I'm going to focus on myself. They're a distraction anyway. And start to get on your grind. And when you have free time to get out, go out and socialize. And do not go out with the sole purpose of meeting women. That's the loser's game. That's a loser's game. Let me say that again. That's a loser's game. I don't want you to go out and say to yourself, Oh, I wonder what type of women I'll meet today. Come on, man. Instead, change it up to, I'm going out to enjoy myself. I'm going out with my friends. And if I do happen to meet women, then so be it. But overall, I'm just going with my friends to chill and enjoy myself out. I'm just going to kick it with my friends, to be honest. And if a woman chooses me, then you know what? I may approach. I may not. But I'm going to enjoy myself. Guys, when I go out, I go out, I live my life, I enjoy myself, and I let the women come to me. Obviously, I will approach a woman if I see something nice or if she's choosing me. But most of the time, it's not even that hard to meet women. They'll make it easy for you. They usually find a way to talk to you if they like you enough or if they want you enough. Trust me. And if you carry a masculine frame, most of these women won't even test you. And if they do test you, then they probably weren't ever interested to begin with. The reason I'm telling you this, anytime I go out on a date, or every time I go out on a date, I never get tested. I know how to carry myself. They know if they step out of line, I'm gone. She's gone. I carry a good masculine frame. When they're with me, I have this very serious aura about me, and they know how to act. I remember when I was first dating women, women would always ask me, why so serious? But now they know not to do it. They don't even ask me that no more. They know not to step out of line. That's how good I've become at holding frame. That's also how I usually get women to submit and be more feminine. During these dates, I carry myself very highly, like she should prove herself to me. Girl, I do not have to prove myself to you. There's nothing I should be proving myself to you about. I'm the prize here. Simple as that. Yeah, girl, instead, you should prove yourself to me. That's how this works. You better strike the iron while it's hot, girl, because if you ain't act right, you'll miss me. There's not another dude out there like me. Trust me. And that's a promise. I know how to carry myself, and you should too. It's not that hard dating these women. They're just looking for a guy who has a backbone and some self-respect. And to be honest, that's what game is all about, really. It's about showing them that you know how to handle them if they don't act right. Because they will step out of line. They will try to not act right on purpose. When you begin to understand women, none of what they do bothers you. I don't know anything a woman that would say or do would bother me, even if she's being a troll. When you begin to understand women, nothing bothers you. And you know, they actually like you more because you're so chill and relaxed. You ever had women apologize to you by the way they acted without you saying anything? I remember multiple times that I was out with women and they would act out of character. And then after I would ignore them or it won't bother me, they would go to the corner over there and then five to ten minutes later they would come back and be like, hey, I'm so sorry I acted out of character. I didn't mean it. Thanks for taking care of me. Or thanks for handling me. And they'll be that much more attracted to you. I promise you guys, it works. I'm telling you guys, women come up to me telling me they're sorry. But most of you guys don't get that. The majority of women you should get is women that lust for you naturally. What do I mean when I say the majority of women you should get is women that lust for you naturally? It means you just do it for them. You as a person just turns them on. They start feeling hot, and every time they see you, they start twirling their hair around just like this. They get excited every time they see you. It means you as a man just do it for them. It is essential to find women that lust for you naturally and stay away from women that want you for your money. It's not a good feeling at all to be with women that want you for your money, and it will not lead to anywhere worth going. Trust me. So do not take that route. With women that want you for your money, the only time it feels good being with them is after you bust a nut. But maybe not even then, because post-nut clarity kicks in and then you realize, man, I did not even enjoy her. 
What am I doing? Stay away from gold diggers. The way a woman treats you when she lusts for you naturally, or as a person for who you are, is way different than being with someone who is a beta mill provider, or someone who just has money. The difference is night and day when a woman wants you for your money versus a woman that wants you for who you are and lusts for you for naturally. That doesn't mean you give them anything, but we sleep with them too and we move on. No woman respects a man that exchanges money in order for women to sleep with them. I promise you, they do not respect men like that. Women see those types of men as losers, not even as beta male providers. And I'm not even telling you how I see them. I could care less how I see these dudes. I'm just telling you how women perceive these guys who exchange money for sex. It's the lowest of the lows. Nothing good will ever come out if you exchange money for sex, other than getting yourself off. But even then, it's not worth it. But going back to my first point, find a woman that you just do it for, that you lust for naturally, and she lusts for you naturally. You just do it for her. She gets all tingly and wet inside anytime she thinks about you or sees you. You could be homeless with nothing to your name. And at the end of the day, if she likes you, then she likes you. If she wants you, then she wants you. You cannot do anything when a woman wants a man. Trust me. When she wants a man, she will go after it. I met this girl one time and uh, all these dudes were after her. And she chose me. I don't know what it was, but I just did it for her. I didn't even do much. There were some dudes that I had to check because they were hating on me for being with her. But that was it. If you put the work in and you put your mind to it day in and day out, you can accomplish anything. Like, subscribe, share this video, comment down below what you want to see next. I'll see you next time. Here's why you should never block or delete a woman's number. For one, because you might have done something to pique her interest and she will reach back out in two to three months later to check up on you, see what you're up to. You might have raised your sexual market value in some way. Maybe the guy she's went on dates with ain't like you. I cannot tell you how many times in the past women have rejected me and found a way to reach back out to me again. I don't know if I got more ripped, started dressing better, started carrying myself better. Who knows, maybe she found out through some people that I'm very good in bed. Maybe I made more money, who knows. But usually they would start choosing me weeks to months later. As long as you're improving yourself every day, they notice that and they come back weeks to months later. So never delete or block their number.